I'm Josie Foster and I run a company called Furnishing Studio. Please refer to the website if you want to know more. Here is a guide to soft furnishings. These ideas are also good for bathrooms. Basically, we're going to stay away from the fabrics because fabrics react very much to climate, particularly natural ones like silk and linens. And you don't really want a silk or a linen in a bathroom or a kitchen because there's steam around and they sort of go baggy if they get uh, humid and some fabrics don't like that. So it's a good idea to stick to non-fabric treatments. On these windows, we've got pinoleum blinds. And these are great for kitchens because they let the light through, they filter the light and give you privacy at night. And they're also extremely good insulators. So they keep the warmth in in the winter, they keep the heat out in the summer, and they're great for kitchens. They also discolour with age. They get slightly darker on the exposed part of the blind. So with this one, it has gone slightly darker where the pleat has gone up. But it's very attractive for it to do that. It, it's, it'll, it'll just sort of blend in quite nicely. Alternatively, we have wooden Venetian blinds in all the natural woods, and they can also be painted in the color of your choice. Those are the made up woods, which are fine if they're not going to be over a bath or a steamy sink. The real wood is better over a steamy sink or a bath because again, warping is quite common in wooden blinds. The metal blinds are of course the best if it's going to be a wet room for a bathroom or it's going to be over a hot steamy sink in a kitchen and you can usually get them at all different colors and they're made to measure and they fit the, the window perfectly and they look good for a very long time. They do take a bit more cleaning because they can get a bit dusty, but with good cleaning, they're great. These are the metal Venetian blinds. And those are some ideas for kitchens and bathrooms as far as window treatments are concerned.